I welcome you to my today's class. I'm so happy to be with you here again. And today we'll be looking at histogram of group data. Histogram of group data, okay? So I want you to sit back, get your pen and your paper, and let's do this together. And histogram is one of the statistical charts used to represent data, okay? And it uses uh, connected bars, which are plotted frequency against class boundary for equal class intervals. Okay, sometimes you have equal class intervals. When you have equal class intervals, you are going to use frequency against the class boundary. But when you have unequal class intervals, you're going to use frequency density against your class boundaries, okay? So I want you to know the difference. When you have equal class boundary, equal class intervals, you use frequency against your class boundaries or your class intervals. But when you have unequal class intervals, you use frequency density. Okay, you use frequency density. So let's get to the examples. So this is the example number one. And in this example, we are going to be showing where you have equal class intervals. Okay, so I have the quick frequency distribution showing the marks in the percentage scored by students in physics test. Okay, we want to use histogram to represent this information. Okay, you can see I have the max from 44 to 46. I have two students. And uh, from 47 to 49, I have five students. From 50 to 52, I have 11 students. From 53 to 55, I have 20 students. From 56 to 58, I have 26 students. From 59% to 61%, I have 22 students. And from 62% to 64%, I have 16 students. So before I'll, I'll plot my histogram, I have to, you know, we prepared another table to get some things uh, done. So in this new table now, I will have my class boundary included and then the class size. The class size is to ascertain that it is equal class intervals that we have. Okay. So in the class boundaries, the essence of this class boundaries is to bound the intervals. Okay. So here I have my class boundaries for 44 to 46. I have 43.5 to 6. 46.5 okay now from 47 to 49 i have 46.5 you can see that where this first class boundary stops is where the second one will start and it continues to the end okay you can check out my video where i actually did the class boundary thing okay so here i have uh, the class size to know the size and be sure it is equal, like it is stated here. So I have to subtract the lower class boundary from the upper class boundary, and I'm having three. I did the same for all the class boundaries, and I'm having three as the class size. So I'm having equal class sizes for all the class intervals. And that shows that these class intervals are all equal okay the next we go into preparing our histogram now for the class intervals that are equal it is going to be just the frequency against class boundaries okay and these are class boundaries is just representing the max in percentage okay so next we have our histogram you can see here I have to give space because we actually did not start from zero. Okay, so that's why I'm having this cut out. So we started from the lowest class boundary, which is 43.3.5, sorry, 43.5. 
and because they have equal class size the sizes are three three if you take the difference from here to here you notice we have just three from here to here is three from here to here that is the sizes they have equal sizes now the difference is only in the height because if you we go back a little bit you notice that from 43 to 43.5 to 46.5 the frequency is a uh, two okay so that's why i'm having this here this is two remember from here to here is five that means each line here is one two so this is my two this where i'm having two here okay if you go back again from 46.5 to 49.5 the frequency is five so remember it's frequency against the class boundary so this is the five i lifted this up a little and then i'm at five okay the next one is the frequency is 11 so if we go by that here is my 11 this is 10 11 okay all right so we'll go back the next frequency is 20 that is 52.5 to 55.5 and uh, 52.5 to 55.5 20 you can see it here okay but one thing you should know is that the bars are connected they are very much connected okay so go back next is 26 so we are having this to 26 okay next is uh 22 so we have the next bar 22 okay and the last but not the least the frequency is 16 that is 61.5 to 65.5 and that is the 16 okay so they have equal sizes and that is three 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 okay so next we'll go to unequal class intervals unequal class intervals so this is an example of an equal unequal class interval so here we have frequency distribution showing us the length of 50 objects measured to the nearest centimeter and we are to represent this using histogram so I have 10 to 14, 15 to 19, 20 to 24, 25 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 74. And here are the frequency. Now, checking out the class sizes of these lengths, I notice they are not equal. From 10 to 14, I have 5. 15 to 19, I have 5. 20 to 24, I have 5. 25 to 29, I have 5. But look at here. 30 to 39, I'm having 10. 40 to 49 is also 10. And this one is 50 to 74. The size is 25. So because it's an unequal class interval that we are going to use here, it means you are going to find the frequency density for this uh, distribution. And the frequency density is the ratio of frequency to si class size. Okay. The ratio of frequency to uh, class uh, size. So here we have 0 0.6. Here we have 1.2. Here we have 1.4. Here we have 1.8. Here we have 1.2, here we have 0 0.8, and here we have 0 0.2. Okay, so next we'll prepare our histogram. So here the histogram. So this is frequency density against the length. Okay, so we choose our scale. For here I'm having a 1 cm to 0 0.2 okay 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 1.0 1.2 1.4 1.6 1.8 
then on this side i'm using also 1 cm to 10 and this is 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and 80. so remember the first we have is uh, 10 to 14 this class size is 5 the frequency density is 0 0.6 so here you can see the class size from this point to this point is 10 so since the class 5 the class size is 5 if i divide 10 into 2 i will have 5 so this means i'm going to divide this line into 2 that's why i'm having here is 2 4 and then half of this which is 5 and i'm having 0 0.6 as my frequency density and that is this position okay that, that is for the first length 10 to 14 for the second length i have 15 to 19 and it is also 5 for the class size and then the frequency density is 1.2 so here is 5 for the class size then 1.2 for the frequency density next i have is 20 to 24 which is also 5 for the class size and 1.4 for the frequency density so i'm having 1.4 and you can see it's also 5 for the class size okay also next i have 25 to 29 which the class size is also 5 well the dense frequency density is 1.8 so here is the longest you can see it and we still have 5 as our class uh, size so next i have 30 to 39 the class size is 10 the frequency density is 1.2 so i'm having it from 30 to 40 which is 10 okay and the frequency density is 1.2 next is 40 to 49 the class size is 10 the frequency density is 0 0.8 and here we have it from 40 to 50 and this is 0 0.8 for frequency density the last but not the least i'm having 50 to 75 the class size is 25 the frequency density is 0 0.2 okay so this is it you can see from here to here is 10 from here to here is another 10 so that is 20 and this is 2 4 half of this is 1 which is 5 so i'm having the class size as 25 and the frequency density is uh, 0 0.2 so this is how you prepare your histo histogram for both equal class intervals and unequal class intervals if you have any question just drop it at the comment section and i will attend to it thank you very much god bless you bye bye